Hey everyone, the time is finally here. We are doing the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, in this video, I am doing a review on a vegetable chopper mandolin slicer that I bought on Amazon. I had found one uh, in the house I'm living in and I wanted a new one. It worked really good. So we're going to do that review and make a steak and potato dinner with it. In the video, I asked two questions. You must answer one of the two questions in the comments to be entered. After two weeks of the video being posted, we will do a drawing for anybody who made a comment that is subscribed. And uh, the winner will get a Amazon e-card for $100. Good luck to everybody and watch the video. So let's see what we got in the box. It is a vegetable chopper. It also does a few other things. Oh. I know you gotta be careful with them because I did slice my thumb. On the one I found in the house. Get quite a bit. You get a basket that way when you uh, cut some of your vegetables, you can rinse them off. Holding tray. This is a little cleaner for cleaning out your stuff. Your main lid. And this is for cleaning them out. Nope, it don't snap in. I was hoping it would lock. So, depending on what you have, now this here is supposed to be a spiraler. You can grab a potato, put it in there, turn it, it cuts it, and makes it into spirals. Set this off the side. When you're setting up the slicer up here, stab your potato. Then you can go across and so you don't slice your fingers off. These are your different. Mandolin blades. So if you want sliced potatoes, use that one. Medium sized shred. Oh, that'd be for uh, making potato chips. Large shred. It's nice that it's got its own holder. Why does everything got to be difficult? Each one's got its own slot. There we go. Then we got our different size choppers. Modern corners got open. There it is. The one I found here at the house didn't have these two. It only had these three. Now 
Now this one here I put uh, for sliced carrots. I'd put the carrot in there, chunk carrot in there, push it down, and I'd get sliced carrots. But now that I got the mandolin part of it, that's going to make it real nice. Come on. Can you get the carrot peeler with it? Yep. I'm not positive which one this one is. It's got to be some kind of a grater. You get your basket and all that. And what's nice is this one, this piece here comes out. So you can use the mandolin. And then these go in, let's take this one. Like so. Now you can use it. You know, this all needs to be washed up before I try it out. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go give this all a good washing and then we'll make something with it. Okay, let's get things started. Let's get some heat going here. And some butter. What I'm going to be making for you, um, simple steak, fried potatoes. Um, we got a little bit of steak here. Uh, a little oil on it, season it. Pepper. Kosher salt. Flip it. Pepper. Sit off the side for a little bit. Let's get our chopper out. See how well this is going to work for us. So, first thing we need to do is add this. And we are going to go with this. Makes it the easiest for grilling potatoes, and I need my knife. I can do sliced potatoes, but I'd rather do it this way. See how well this works. Oh, oh, so easy, so easy. Wow, that's sharp. Chops them up nice. I'm going to make myself enough for leftovers for tomorrow. Wow, this does it so nice and easy. These on the in the pan cooking. Put you back up over here. We will add some salt and pepper right off the bat. Well, that's going. Let's start getting some of this other stuff ready. 
Let's try an onion. What do you think? <laughs> no tears, baby, no tears. Now I am, I'll come back. How do we want to do the green pepper? Um, I really need more onion than that. Oh, oh perfect. Uh-oh. Oh, no problem. And what do you think? Think it'll all go? With ease. Breaks right up. Yeah, it looks better. That's enough onion. Okay, I want a little jalapeno with this. Not big on uh, having any seeds in there. I'm more for the flavor and just a little bit of burn. And I want this a little finer. You can't ask for nothing better and easier. I'm not crying. That worked great. Now I will throw this into a bowl. Have you, and let's go with this. I want to try doing this more in strips than I do A little bit longer strips ain't bad. There we go. And now for the mushrooms. And what did I oh, right here? What do you think? Just give her one big mushroom. Oh, too easy. And that should be enough of that. A little bit of green pepper. That is easy. That works awesome. I love it. I mean, look at that. Now my slicer came, so it's a little bit bent. It's bent inward. I'm going to have to work with it, see if I can get it to... Straighten out a little bit. So I really would like to use that too. I'll uh, contact them. I'll grab a 
extra potato here. Here, potatoes. Let's see how the slice works on this just for Ain't too bad. They're kind of paper thin. They ain't too bad. Work with a little bit. See how well that'll. Uh, see if I can get it to open up a little bit. Get off the side. This a little bit more. Let that start sweating down. I really like this. This is a great, great tool for the kitchen. Um, something this size, I imagine, would be for uh, tomatoes, maybe. Got one a little bit smaller. And then that one there, which I use for slicing. That worked out good. And I was very wrong in my initial thought on this. This is an egg separator. Crack your egg in there and it'll hold the yolk and the whites will fall out of it. So let's get back to cooking. Well, that's got some nice color in it. It's looking good. a little more salt helps wet that down let me a little garlic That out, I want that for the steak. Now, this pan is a cast iron pan, they're called cast iron light. Here's a smaller version, they are awesome. The handles don't get hot. At least they haven't gotten hot on me so far, unless you put it in the oven. But they work just like cast iron skillet does, because um, it is cast iron. It's just the weight difference is half the weight to a quarter of the weight. So, and I got got it at Myers, and when I was there today, uh, didn't find any. They didn't they didn't have them. So I don't know if they discontinued them or what, but I really like them. Okay, we'll get this cooking and uh, we'll be right back to saute some onions and mushrooms and get our steak going. Okay, right, so we got this cooked up. Let's start on our uh, sauteed mushrooms. And onions. And yeah. I'm a glutton. I love my butter.
get back in there. I guess it's time to start getting ready for the steak. And let's bring you up a little bit. Yes, I know. Butter's not good for you. But it tastes so wonderful. Get our pan up to town. need a little more butter. Now I'm a grill kind of guy so I usually grill my steak but we're gonna go with a different kind of it's been years since I pan fried one and Figure I'd give a go at it again. Once butter browned up a little bit. Make sure my pan's up to temp. Okay, time to make the house smoky. We need to try ourselves some of these potatoes. Oh, good. You just taste the hint of the jalapeno. So how do you all like your steak? I shoot for medium, medium to medium rare. Hard to find steak anywhere anymore that's worth, worth a dang. Definitely don't need to buy it from a big box store like Walmart and Myers. I go into Walmart and I see they got their um, T-bones marked as porterhouse. They don't even have a clue what they're doing. So I usually go to uh, a regular meat market. Well, for me, it's House of Meats or Assumption Meats. Pettysville Meats is really good too. Get ourselves a good char on this. Oh, she's almost there. Don't want to overcook it.
Tank ready. Ooh, looks good, looks good. Add some of that garlic in there. Didn't want to put it in too soon. I didn't want it to the garlic to burn. So how about it? Do you guys uh, use steak sauce or A1 barbecue sauce on there, ketchup? My thinking is if you got to add something to it, it wasn't cooked right to start off with. You don't like steak that's gray. That's overcooked. Oh, now I can smell that garlic. Couple more minutes. Get ourselves quite ready. Clean up my mess. Turn you off. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's add that on there. Potatoes. Now, I am what you'd call a meat and potatoes kind of guy. I'm a country boy, a farm hand. I am not after a plate that looks pretty. I'm after something that tastes good. Let's try her out. Okay, so let's all see how this all turned out. That's perfect. It tastes fantastic. This chopper is awesome. All the attachments you get with it, and it only costs 25 bucks. You can't beat it. Um, especially with the onions, it saves your saves you. Um, It saves your uh, eyes. Um, now you still gotta use a knife, cut stuff small enough, but it's definitely worth it. Well, I'm gonna sign off and uh, go eat. I want you all to remember to subscribe, like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and leave a comment. You gotta leave a comment and get yourself entered into the 
sweepstakes for a hundred dollar e-card from Amazon. See you in the next video.